So that's my first shot captured for today. And one of the things I really, really enjoy about woodland photography is exploring a woodland and trying to look for compositions. The search for that perfect composition is really, really exciting to me and it's quite satisfying when I find something that appeals to my eye and that's what I've done here. So what drew me to the scene here is this wonderful tree behind me. The shape of it, you can see the way the lighting is catching the branches and the trunk of the tree. So. I've really explored the area. Once I find a potential composition, I really like to explore around it, see if it's going to work, see what the best angles are, see other elements I want to include in the composition. And by looking around here, I also spotted this tree here, uh, which I've included in the composition. And the lighting when I took my image was quite nice in this tree as well. It's a bit more subtle at the moment. But it's just highlighting key areas of the tree nicely. And the light is really doing that for this tree behind me. It's really highlighting its shape, the shape of the branches, etc. So I get a lot of satisfaction out of looking for images and fine-tuning them. The main focal point of this image is this tree here. It's really, really nice. The outstretched branches are almost reaching up through the forest. They're reaching out into the forest as well. And the branches from this tree come out to the right and then the branches from the other one I mentioned come over to the left. They sort of crisscross behind one another. And I just really like it. It's quite a nice scene. So I'm quite pleased with this one. I've enjoyed the, the search of the forest to find this composition and I'm off to see if I can do it again somewhere else. As I was walking along, I was quite drawn to the scene behind me here. The first thing that caught my eye was the colour of the leaves and they were also aglow with the sun. They're being backlit and also slightly from above with the sun. The forest floor had a lot of interest as well. We've got this wonderful path which leads off into the distance and there's some interest at the back of the image with this tree which has fallen over. The light was also really nice at the time I arrived here. There was some wonderful light and shadow on the forest floor, so that was nice. And the sun was at the sort of top left of the image, the way I framed it. And I was hoping to capture a sunburst, but that ended in a matter of seconds. Clouds came in and obscured the sun, so whether or not I caught that I don't know. But even if I didn't, I think there's still going to be a nice image here. Quite artistic, there's the opportunity to play with aperture, different depth of field, and quite hopeful for the image, but I'll need to wait until I see it in the bigger screen to know whether or not I captured it the way I envisaged. So I think that scene I was just talking about had potential to work in different types of lighting. When I arrived the light was much brighter, it was casting some nice light on the forest floor, some shadow, and I maybe got a sunburst we'll have to see, but as I stuck around, waited a while longer, as I said the, the sun got behind some clouds, so the lighting was more even on the scene and it had a more peaceful, gentle look. So. It could work in two different types of lighting. I'll have to see when I get home which one I like best and if indeed I capture the sunburst. But I'm enjoying the challenges of woodland photography today. It's very strong winds. It's quite calm at points in the forest, but at other points the wind certainly is gusting. And when that happens it's challenging managing ISO against depth of field 
And focusing can be challenging too. It was quite difficult to focus on the leaves uh, in the image back there. So I'm using manual focusing a lot today, but these are the challenges that I enjoy and hopefully I'll find another composition. So I found what's going to be my last composition for today and I'm really pleased with this one. We've got this wonderful characterful tree behind me, the shape of it is just amazing. We've got some lovely texture and shapes on the bark, we've also got some green moss on the bark and we've got this wonderful longer blades of grass here on the forest floor, a nice patch of those along with the other colour as well on the forest floor. And it's been a waiting game. When I took my previous image, the sun was over that direction. So I've been set up here with my composition in mind for quite a while, waiting until the sun moved in, sky, in the sky. So it's now over and behind me. And it's casting some wonderful light down onto this tree, which is emphasizing the shape of the tree and its bark and so on. So I think the, the light is adding quite a lot to this particular image. I never edit my images a lot in post-production, some need a little bit more editing obviously but I already know this image is not going to need much editing at all and I can already visualise it printed in a nice matte paper, I think it's going to have a nice painterly type look to it. Um, but I'm quite pleased with this for my last image, the rain is starting to slowly come on so I better quickly grab this one and then that's going to be it for today. So that's another shoot done, I've really enjoyed being out in the woodland again today. Fairly challenging at times, managing camera settings to deal with the changeable light, to deal with the high wind etc. Doing some manual focusing and so on, but that's all part of the enjoyment of woodland and landscape photography. That's why we love it, dealing with all these things, changing the settings on our camera to get the best images we can and hopefully to come away with some images we're proud of, whether we want to post them online or print them for our own walls. But I've had a lot of fun, I hope you've enjoyed watching and I'll see you in my next video.